Hi there, welcome to another video. In this video we're continuing our work on algebra and in this lesson we're going to talk about substitution. So here's a picture for you with uh, David Beckham and Wayne Rooney uh, being substituted just to uh, remind you of what the idea for substitution is. Okay, So, in football, as I'm sure you're, you're aware, substitution is when you swap one player for another. Okay? And the same idea is actually true in algebra. So for algebra, it's a similar idea, but it's when you swap or replace a letter in an algebraic expression for a number. So, for example, say I had an algebraic expression like, I don't know, let's say um, a plus, uh, let's say, 5, but then I told you that a was equal to, let's say, 2, I would swap the a for 2, so I've swapped the a and the 2, and I could work this out, and it would give me the answer 7. So, in, in a algebra or in math, substitution is where you swap the letter for a number. I'm going to do uh, uh, one example where there are several parts. Please copy each down exactly as I do, and then I'll, I'll have your worksheet for you to do. So off we go. So here's example one. It tells us that A is going to be equal to 3, B is going to be equal to 6, and C is going to be equal to 8. And we want to work out or evaluate. Evaluate is another word for work out in maths. That means work out. Um, the following six things. So 3b, c plus 11, a plus b, 3b plus 2c, 7a subtract 2b, and 2c subtract 3a. So it's very important when you're doing this that you substitute in using brackets. Okay, so you substitute your number in with brackets and um, you work it out, you show each stage of your work in. So if we're going to do 3b, so we're going to swap b for 6. So we're going to write 3 b is equal to 6, put a bracket there. And 3, uh, bracket 6, means 3 times 6. And 3 times 6 is 18. And we're done for the first one. Remember, 3b means 3 lots of b, or 3 times b. So when you're putting 6 in, it means 3 times 6, or 3 lots of 6, which is 18. Question 2, c plus 11. So c is equal to 8, so we're going to substitute in 8 there. So it's 8, and then plus 11. Now, 8 plus 11 is clearly 19, and we're done. Question 3, A plus B. Now, A is going to equal 3, so we have 3, plus B, which is 6. And 3 plus 6 is equal to 9, and we're done. Now let's do the next three examples. 3b plus 2c. Now this is where the brackets become important. 3b means three lots of b and 2c means two lots of c. So we not, must substitute using brackets to remind us to multiply. 3 and then we're going to put brackets 6 plus 2 and we're going to put brackets 8. Now 3 times 6 is actually equal to 18. And 2 times uh, 8 is actually equal to 16. And 18 plus 16 is equal to 34, and we are done. Next question, 7a subtract 2b. So substitute using bracket 7 multiplied by a, but a is equal to 3. So 7 bracket 3 subtract 2 bracket 6. Okay, now 7 multiplied by 3 is 21. And we're going to subtract 2 times 6, which is 12. Okay. And 21 uh, subtract 12 is equal to 9, and we're done in that example. And the last example, 2c subtract 3a, well, we're going to substitute in the c and the a, 2 multiplied by 8, so we're going to have 2 bracket 8, subtract 3 bracket 3. Now 2 multiplied by 8 is 16, so we have 16 here. Subtract 3 multiplied by 3 
is equal to 9. And 16 subtract 9 is equal to 7. And there we go, we've done six examples there where we have been given an A, B and a C and we have substituted into various expressions, okay? And that's the basic idea of simple substitution. Thank you for watching.